With schools and colleges shut for a long period of time due to lockdown, institutions are turning to online mode to cope with the syllabus. Private schools, government schools, institutions everywhere are opting for online education at this time of global pandemic. Sikkim State's Education Department has also been giving classes through online mode. Today speaking with us are Mr. GP Upade, Additional Chief Secretary, Education Department, and also Mr. Bhim Tatal, who is the Director of Primary Education. ACS, sir, let's start by talking about Education Department's preparedness as far as COVID-19 is concerned and subsequent lockdown and shutting of all schools. What has been done so far? What are the major steps taken? Uh, a very good morning to all my viewers, all dear students, teachers, parents, school heads, and everybody. Uh, yes, this global pandemic, COVID-19, has affected everybody in a, in, a, in a different way and in a very bad way. Education department, as you know, imparts education and our ed educational institutions are closed for the last about one and a half months now. They will further remain closed for next one month as of now. Thereafter, we don't know what will happen. We are still waiting. I mean, we are still uh, finding that the, 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 the disease is evolving on a daily basis situation is changing on a daily basis so we don't know how long the schools and colleges will remain further closed but as on today it has been one and a half months and seeing in the very beginning we were seized of this problem that schools are closed and these are the time when there is a very uh, the studies are at a very fast pace in Sikkim because unlike other states in plain areas we don't have our sessions beginning from April it begins from February and as you know, we don't have summer holidays. We have very little summer holidays. We have a long winter holiday. So, uh, in fact, April, May, June are the months when we actually, the studies are at, at their peak. So, we decided under the chair of Honorable Minister that we should make use of all available resources, online resources, radio for those places which are not connected by internet or internet is weak. And, of course, the local uh, television cable, which is in many homes in the state. So, all these three modes are being used to impart education. Director, sir, could you please elaborate on the process of, uh, you know, online mode of education? How is it being done? Uh, what are the platforms uh, being used? And how do the students enroll themselves? Namaskar to all the listeners and viewers of this program. Uh, regarding these online classes, which are being devised by the education department, in fact, it is not online only. We have... Uh, three forums that we are currently utilizing. First one is through internet, we have one Sikkim EduTech app. Uh, through this Sikkim EduTech app, the teachers have to download this app from the Google Play Store. And after downloading it, they have to configure it in their mobile phones. And they have to enter the data of the students in the app. Once they are done with these things, they can push the lessons to the students from the app. The app has a huge library of the teaching e-learning contents and students can have access to this uh, app and they can have access to all the contents that they would like to go through during this lockdown period that is one way the other way is that we have started one training program we have started one uh, interactive session through all india radio gang talk which is also being broadcast by uh, kanchanjunga fm 103 it starts at 1 p.m. every day, except for Sunday, all uh, six days of the week. Uh, at 1 it starts and at 1.40 the students can ask questions to the teachers. The teachers will answer their queries. Subjects like uh, English, social science, political science, history, all those subjects which is not possible uh, through visual content, visual display is being done by the radio. Now let us come to those subjects where you know blackboard, whiteboard, some visual contexts are required. And for those subjects like mathematics or science, we have another program through Sambat TV and its associate cable TVs in the in the state. It's uh, it is telecast at uh, 6 p.m. in the evening and after the news is done. So our teachers will come to the studio. They will record their lectures. And then this is being telecast by the radio, I mean by the television. So this is how we are reaching out to the students. Okay, so this question is also for you. Now when it comes to online mode of education, we are completely dependent on uh, technology and connectivity is also an issue. Now, uh, you know, uh, for students who are in government schools, most of them are from economically weaker sections. 
how are they going to access this they may not even have access to the internet or even the mobile phones how are you going to make sure that every student is covered and what happens to those who are left out this is a matter of a concern really in fact uh, what we are doing is that all this e contents that are being telecast or broadcast through radio through internet we have collected all these there is a centralized uh, data bank of all these things which are already being telecast or broadcast now what we are doing is that uh, we are converting this into uh, accessible hard drives and we will send this hard drives to the districts and from the district to the bscs and to the schools so that the teachers will give it to the students so to those places where there is no accessibility of internet or any other kind of uh, you know reach we are sending this uh manually in a way you can say it's manually also or maybe to the possibility uh we can send the files through internet to the district headquarters and they will download it and uh, they will further send it to the students on top of that we have a uh, devised one uh, school radio also which is available uh, in the mobile uh, these are some of the ways we are trying to reach out to the students what about the teachers for some of them this is something new and they may not be familiar with the application so is there any specific training that is being provided to them as well we have some whatsapp groups uh, there are many whatsapp groups in fact uh, at the state level uh, district level and the bsc levels uh, these contents you know regarding how to use this edutech app or for that matter any other app the school radio program we are sending them the guidelines about how to use this to the whatsapp groups they are having access to this they are some way or the other being trained about how to use this uh, technology uh, acs so let's talk about the challenges should the lockdown further extend if it's extended and should uh, the schools be indefinitely closed as is happening in other parts of the world how prepared is education department to handle a situation like that uh i think this is a very relevant question but i am only hoping and praying that it doesn't happen because uh, the schools being closed indefinitely is a very scary, scary scenario and i would be extremely disappointed and sad but then if situation is really serious like that and government takes a decision then we have to abide by it uh as i said we are uh, situation is evolving on a daily basis and we are trying to use every mean that is at our disposal uh in fact i have even thought of you know requesting the college students who are staying in basti areas in their homes because everything is closed to you know if there is in the neighborhood if there is a child which is in the school they should find some time to teach him maintaining the distance a group of two or three students let's say and uh, you know uh, you rightly asked earlier about children who don't have access to internet or uh, other kinds of gadgets electronic gadgets so uh, i think we will have to intensify our efforts to reach students through online mode and uh, make it a permanent kind of a kind of a medium because even if the schools reopen what we are thinking is that initially we may not be able to call everybody to the school we may have to maintain uh, some kind of segregation or we may have to have shifts in the schools morning shift afternoon shift or some younger children may not be called so in that case we are already we have discussed that we will continue with this uh, online mode radio mode and tv mode for as long as we can because we are not going to discontinue it just because the schools get reopened okay that's something to think about here so uh, now let's talk about the students who are stranded what arrangements are being made for these students uh, i believe there are two categories of students here students from sikkim who are stuck outside and those uh, from outside who are stranded in sikkim what is government doing for these what is education department for doing for these students how are you planning to bring them back uh, it's a very very uh, important point i would like to inform everybody jo le pani mero kura sunnu hundai cha sikkim ma sab lai mero सब ले ध्यानपूर्वक सुनदिन भर म रिक्वेस्ट कर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी विल बी टैकलिंग विद द मोमेंट लॉकडाउन इज ओपनड नाउ देर आर टू कैटेगरीज एज यू सेड राइटली अबाउट सिक्स थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स आर स्टडिंग इन सिक्किम हु डोंट बिलोंग टू सिक्किम एंड देन वी हैव गॉट अबाउट वन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स हु आर फ्रॉम सिक्किम हु आर स्टडिंग आउट साइड सिक्किम सो बिफोर थर्टी फर्स्ट if the flights and planes and uh, trains resume 
then the students who are stranded outside who are from sikkim but studying outside will definitely like to return back to the state to their to meet their parents and families have family members so for them uh, and the schools our own universities and colleges are closed till 31st of may so the people who are studying here the children who are studying here will come only after 31st but the lot which i mentioned about people from sikkim they may come before that once the lockdown and the transport is allowed so for them we had a meeting uh, in the last two days one with at the level of honorable minister with all the vice chancellors then we had a meeting yesterday with chief secretary and the task force in which we have identified uh, existing hostel facilities in different institutions schools government and private both we are even thinking of uh, requisitioning some of the hotels or requesting them to provide beds on payment basis for example there could be parents who want to put their children in quarantine in some hotels and they are not averse to making a small payment for that on a daily basis and the hotels being closed and completely running out of cash and revenue they may also get some income out of this activity so we uh, will be uh, the tourism department is organizing this we will be also organizing some hotel rooms where uh, some children could be kept on payment basis by their parents and as i said the hostels which are available for example we have got large number of beds available in smit under smu we have some hostels in private schools in gangtok in in other other districts plus you know institutes like attc ccct their hostels plus you know carfectar uh, uh, state institute of capacity building sird rural development institute plus the collectors have also identified other other locations where people could be children could be quarantined now what will happen is that we will be in touch with them so that we can plan their arrival we don't want all of them to come on the on the first day of opening of lockdown we want them to come in a staggered way let's say over 3 4 days 5 days so that we are able to properly test each one of them rapid test in the beginning and anybody who is symptomatic will immediately be sent to a hospital but somebody who is asymptomatic even then he will and he is showing negative result even he or she will be kept in quarantine for 14 days with the government facility and again they are after 14 days in their homes so uh, so we will be establishing camps at the borders near malli and Rang- rangpo to do this testing and thereafter we will be sending them to these designated places thank you acs sir thank you director sir as well for providing some useful information uh, would you like to add anything there is something that i would like to add this is specifically to those uh, primary teachers who are currently you know undergoing uh, one uh, training through all india radio gangtok and fm 103 So we are uh, providing training to these uh, primary teachers about how to use the newly devised uh, textbook for primary schools. Uh, our ACS sir has desired that this training has to be extended to the levels of the BRCCs, that is block level uh, resource uh, coordinators, uh, cluster level resource coordinators, assistant education officers, assistant directors, deputy directors, and all the school heads. Because this is really very very important. A kind of book that we have devised. something uh, very first of its kind in the entire country and the use of this book is very essentially uh, very essential to be uh, uh, i mean the teachers to be trained that is one thing the other thing is that uh, we have uh, recently announced one there are two competitions in fact one is for the students about how did they spend their time during the lockdown and the other is for the teachers about what they did their innovative practices to reach out to the students we request the teachers and the students to participate in this activity uh, we have extended the date till 31st of march now because i mean 31st of may now and at the same time our special request to all the district heads to please monitor this online training program for the teachers and radio classes for the students as well as television classes for the students thank you that is all we have for today's episode of sikkim this week ipr has been and will continue bringing stories to you even during the lockdown please like and follow our facebook page that is government of sikkim official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state i'm chirang eden thank you for watching